Hey everybody, Justin from FrugalSnobs.com. Brox with me, say hello. Hello. Brought everybody another drink review. Hope everybody enjoys our quick drink reviews along with all of our other reviews. If you haven't done so already, make sure you subscribe to wherever you enjoy the Frugal Snobs video content, whether it's on YouTube or other outlets. Again, make sure that you subscribe. Also, where a notification bell is available, please hit that bell so that you will be informed of any new content that drops from the Frugal Snobs. Is that yes. fair? All right, get the cheap plug out of the way as well. If you like what you see in here, please make sure you check out the Frugal Snobs podcast, which will soon be sunset, folks. So please do check it out while you can. You can go to frugalsnobs.com for all that information on the different podcasting networks of your choosing, where the podcast is available. You can also like, share, comment, post, all that good stuff. It helps us out. If you like what you see in here, please go to support.frugalsnobs.com, and you can support us for as little as 99 cents per month. Fair? Yes. All right, folks, getting into another drink review. This time, a quick drink review for Sparkling Ice Plus Caffeine. It's an offering from the Talking Rain Beverage Company. Uh, Christina and I picked up uh, these particular beverages, particularly the cherry vanilla flavor, um, at a local grocery store yes. in our area. So we thought we would check these out. Uh, these are available at other outlets as well. We've already seen them at other stores. It's not just at grocery stores, folks. You'll probably be able to catch these um, at a discount store or at a convenience store or uh, of your choosing. Is that fair? Yes. So or some other mart of your choosing. All right. So um, before we get into this, folks, Christina's been comparing this particular beverage in a 16-ounce can serving size for one to her uh, preferred energy drinks uh, up to uh, recent, I guess. Yeah. And so we'll be comparing the nutritional facts here in just a bit. Um, but if you enjoyed the vanilla cherry Coke or the cherry vanilla Coke review that we did, uh, the Cherry Vanilla Coca-Cola review is also available on YouTube. I will also place a link uh, in the description uh, for this video so you can check that out. The flavor to me was very similar to that. Yeah, it was. Is that okay? So, um, yeah, I mean, it, it's an interesting offering. I mean, we've had other sparkling water beverages before, particularly AHA. Yes. So, I mean, I think this might be a, an alternative to one of those other beverages. Uh, but let's go ahead and go through the nutritional facts, and then we'll go ahead and wrap up with the star rating. Uh, go ahead. With this, it only has five calories for a 16-ounce can, which is amazing. Your, your current energy drinks of, of preference, I think, have 10 calories? Per 8-ounce can. Yes. So, so it's like 20, ounce, 20 calories to be the equivalent. So it's a quarter. Yeah. Yep, of the calories. Yep. And then there's no fat, no sodium, no carbs, no protein. <laughs> you get 15% of your daily need of vitamin A, niacin, biotin, vitamin D, vitamin B6, vitamin B12, and... Panathenic acid. So it's all 15% across the board for those. Gotcha. Gotcha. And I think panathenic acid, panathenic acid or whatever you said. Pan yes. Panathetic acid, I think. I, I yes. can't say it properly. I'm sorry, everybody. Um, but I think that's also good for high cholesterol. I think so. I believe it is as well, as is niacin. I know niacin is. So, and again, folks, I'm going through a, a cholesterol issue currently that's kind of a scare. So I'm getting through it. Don't worry, folks. I'm still around. Uh, but those are recent developments. And I think and those are some of the... Um, some of these suggestions to start bringing down any high cholesterol or bad cholesterol uh, for yourselves. And just as a, a bit of info for everybody before we get into a snob rating and whatnot and a, a comparison here, um, for any of you out there that are working to build your bodies like I was for a number of years and still am, please be careful in how you do that. Um, I'm not saying I did that the wrong way, but I think I may have done it in a, um, in a, hyper, um, a hyper accelerated method, which may not have been the best thing for me. So just as a little PSA for everybody, watch your diet watch your exercise, and make sure you take the proper supplements and make sure that you get blood tests often to make sure you don't have run into any of these issues like uh, like I may be dealing with in the future, but I'm trying to deal with now. Is that Yes, we're trying fair? to do it a natural remedy first. Yes, and, and everybody, let me just be really clear. I, I'm not having a major health scare, okay? It's just I have some elevated levels on the cholesterol front that I don't like, right? So I'm trying to bring those elevated levels down. And again, niacin and again, uh, panathenic acid. Uh, should also take care of that apparently for you. But again, consult your physician um, and your healthcare provider for any additional details or a blood test. Is that fair? Fair. All right. So anything else you want to say about this other than it, it, it is a light cherry vanilla taste? Yeah, I like the flavor. I was surprised when I actually poured it out for the photos. Like, it's pink. I was, <laughs> I, I'm being honest because like it tastes to me like that cherry vanilla Coke. So that's why I was like when I poured it out, I'm like, it's not brown, it's pink yes as you can see in the photo here like i've said before everybody anyone who's listened to our other reviews when when pepsi clear came out that messed with your mind man because it was clear and yes. it tasted like pepsi like, what in the world like it, it 
but it is a I, I like it I mean it's a it's actually more cost effective for me than my other energy drinks that I've been preferring mm -hmm. so I am now changing my views on getting my energy and like like Christina was telling me earlier when she was going through the nutritional facts before we recorded the review um, you know you might have low counts at 15% of certain uh, needed vitamins minerals etc but take a supplement yeah um, uh, you may get more out of other drinks, but for a cost, from a cost standpoint, it may be more cost effective for you to take a supplement or two to make up that difference. Plus, you have more control that way. You know, yes. if you don't, if you don't feel like you should be overloading your body with vitamins or medical minerals, if you have a tablet supplement, get yourself a pill splitter, and that should take care of it for you. Just make sure you have the again the right mix of supplements, the right mix of diet, etc. And remember, energy drinks are not a nutritional supplement. They're never, they've never been promoted as a supplement. Okay, so like I said, I don't want to turn this into a PSA for health, but with my current situation and some of my elevated levels I was not expecting with a physical this year, um, again, folks, it's not a critical situation, um, but it is a situation that I'm trying to get under control very quickly. So I don't want anybody else to go through this, especially when my other labs were amazing. They were spot on perfect. Yeah, with the exception of this one particular test that was run that I was really troubled by. And again, folks, anything that's relating to um, liver function, cholesterol, things like that, those increase your probability or your potential for a high blood pressure, stroke, or heart attack, or some other cardiovascular event, right? Yes. So, as always, folks, we try to stay healthy. Um, I would say in terms of a snob rating, I would probably give it a three and a half. I think, Christina, you were talking about a four, possibly yeah. to a four and a half, maybe. Um, but I would say we could center this out between a three, seven, five, three point seven five, and a four. Yes. Star snob rating. Um, not bad. Very cost effective. And again, this is the sparkling ice plus caffeine from the Talking Rain Beverage Company. We hope you enjoyed this review. As always, be well, never pay retail. Take care of yourself and each other.